Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USB channel. For making explainer videos like this, many people have suggested a lot of do's and don'ts. There are a number of theories on what works, what visuals work, what music works, etc. This is the theoretical framework for doing anything. I might decide on choosing certain aspects of those theories. I might decide to use my own imagination, my own intuition and my own subjectivity for creating such videos. This is the conceptual framework. Let us see theoretical and conceptual frameworks, a step-by-step -step guide in this video. Theoretical frameworks are more broader and bigger in scope, while conceptual frameworks are more focused and concerned with the problem statement at hand. The theoretical framework serves as a foundation for a research study, while the conceptual framework is a roadmap for the research study illustrating the key concepts. A theoretical framework is a collection of concepts, ideas, theories and models that help researchers understand the relationships between different variables in a study. It provides a structure for analyzing and interpreting research findings and can guide the development of research questions, hypotheses and research design. A theoretical framework is a foundational review of existing theories that serves as a roadmap for developing the arguments you will use in your own work. In a theoretical framework, you explain the existing theories that support your research, showing that your work is relevant and grounded in established ideas and their findings. The theoretical frameworks guide the research process. They provide a basis for interpreting and analyzing results. They offer a context for understanding and comparing research studies. They also help explain the relationship between different variables or phenomena. The steps are, we first identify a research question or a problem. We then review the relevant literature to find theories and concepts that explain the phenomena. We then connect these theories to form a cohesive framework that guides the research process, including the development of research questions, hypothesis and research design. We also use the framework to analyze and interpret findings. So we first begin with identifying the research problem or question. The research question could be, how does social media use influence political engagement among young adults? So we first conduct a comprehensive review of existing literature on social media use, political engagement and related theories. They could be users and gratifications theory, social capital theory and the spiral of silence theory. We then choose the theories and concepts that best explain the relationship between social media use and political engagement. In this case, you might select the users and gratifications theory to explain why young adults use social media for political purposes and the social capital theory to explain how social media use can contribute to political engagement. We then organize the selected theories and concepts. We create a structure that outlines the relationships between the chosen theories and concepts. For instance, you could create a diagram that shows how social media use based on users and gratifications theory can lead to increased social capital which is based on the social capital theory, which in turn influences political engagement. We need to clearly define and explain key terms and concepts in the theoretical framework such as political engagement, social media use, 
social capital and the specific gratifications sought by young adults when using social media for political purposes an operational definition is the specific way a variable is measured in a particular study it is critical to operationally define a variable to lend credibility to the methodology we then establish relationships between variables we specify the relationships between the variables in our framework such as the relationship between social media use and social capital and the relationship between social capital and political engagement based on the relationships between variables we develop hypotheses that can be tested in our research we develop propositions or hypotheses for example the hypothesis could be higher levels of social media use for political purposes will be positively associated with increased social capital among young adults and higher levels of social capital will be positively associated with greater political engagement among young adults we integrate the framework into our research design we use our theoretical framework to inform our research design including the development of research questions selection of appropriate methodology for example surveys interviews or content analysis data collection and data analysis research design we know refers to the overall strategy that we choose to integrate the different components of the study in a coherent and logical way conceptual frameworks are often derived from or informed by theoretical frameworks but they focus more on the specific concepts and relationships being examined in the context of the research project it provides a simplified organized and coherent overview of the research topic helping researchers and readers understand the underlying structure and connections between different elements in the study let us consider a research study examining the effects of media representation of minorities on public perception and stereotypes we will describe the process of developing a conceptual framework we first identify the key concepts we will be exploring in our study it might include media representation minority groups public perception and stereotypes we then clearly define and explain each key concept to ensure a shared understanding among readers and other researchers for example you might define media representation as the way minority groups are portrayed in various media channels including television movies news and social media we then need to determine the relationships between the key concepts based on our theoretical framework and literature review in this example we might propose that media representation of minority groups influences public perception which in turn shapes and reinforces stereotypes we need to develop a visual representation it could be a diagram or concept map that illustrates the relationships between the key concepts in our study the visual representation should be clear concise and easy to understand for instance you could create a diagram with arrows showing the relationships between media representation public perception and stereotypes we need to include any relevant variables or factors that might influence the relationships between the key concepts in this example we might consider demographic variables it could be age gender or education or specific media channels for example television movies news or social media that could affect the relationships between media representation public perception and stereotypes based on our conceptual framework we develop specific research questions or hypotheses 
that can be tested in our study. For example, does the media representation of minority groups contribute to the formation of stereotypes among the general public? Could be a research question. Or are certain demographic groups more susceptible to forming stereotypes based on media representations of minority groups? There are major differences between theoretical and conceptual frameworks. The primary purpose of a theoretical framework is to provide a foundation for the research study by drawing on existing theories, models and concepts in the field. The main purpose of a conceptual framework is to represent the specific concepts, variables and relationships being examined in a research study. It provides a clear and coherent overview of the research topic. Theoretical frameworks are often more complex and comprehensive, including multiple theories and concepts that collectively explain the phenomenon. Conceptual frameworks are more focused and concise, concentrating on the key concepts, variables and relationships relevant to the research study. They make it easier for researchers and readers to understand the connections between different elements in the study. The theoretical framework serves as a foundation for a research study, guiding the development of research questions, hypotheses, methodology and data analysis. The conceptual framework functions as a roadmap for the research study, illustrating the key concepts, variables and relationships that are being investigated. It helps researchers and readers visualize the structure and connections within the research topic. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.